this is going to be a story on, on what to do when you find a bug. So let's say that we're, we're testing the attendance app and we come across something that, that doesn't work like it, sh it should. So we test all the different things, you know, we make sure that all the, everything works. But let's say we come across that this next arrow doesn't seem to be working and moving us to the next day. Uh, the first thing that you should do is open up the console by right clicking and hitting inspect to see if there's any errors and they'll kind of indicate what's going on. So if by clicking the next arrow we get errors, that's a pretty good indication that there's a bug there. What we'll do is we'll head over to Pivotal Tracker where we keep all the stories for the application and we will go ahead and add a new story. So cancel. We'll add a new story here and we'll say that this is the next arrow on the date selector does not work. Um, and I created a bug template that you can go ahead and follow and it'll walk you through how to create a story here. So we add the story title, the story type, we need to set this to bug. So we'll come over here and instead of feature, you are a bug. Then we will go ahead and we'll keep ourselves as a requester. If you're using a shared account, which we shouldn't have any more, but in case you are, make sure that you put your name in the description. But if not, just leave yourself as a requester. This will help so when a developer goes and tries to track down the bug, if they have any questions, they know who to talk to. Um, owners, so this owners field, if you ask a developer to come look at this with you or help explain what's going on and they, they verbally tell you, hey, go ahead and assign this one to me and I'll take a look at it, you can throw them in here. Otherwise, just leave it blank and whoever's available can pick it up. So the next thing that we'll do is the description. And for the description, we'll just go ahead and copy all of this out of here except for submitter because we won't need that one. But we'll copy the rest of this template. and we'll just paste it in here and fill it out. So the first thing that we need to in input is the bug description and it should be pretty straightforward. When selecting the next arrow on the date selector, um, an error occurs in the console and nothing happens, nothing happens. Um, and then we'll add the date scene and this is important because if somebody's already fixed this or looks at, looked at it and it's just not to, to staging or production yet, it's in a pull request, if the developer sees okay this bug was between that time, I know that it's fixed and we should have it tested again after we push or they can inform you that it's already up, or we know that if it's already been pushed, this is still an issue, that it isn't actually fixed. 16th of December, 2016 um, version. So for the web applications, the operating system isn't as important so much as what version of the web browser you're on, and this just helps us to track down what's going on. So if we go ahead and hit Chrome up here in the corner and hit About Google Chrome, it should tell us that we are on version 5.02 whatever. We'll go ahead and paste that in there. Google Chrome. And I believe in this section also, it's important to put the URL. Yep, include the URL where you found the bug. Oh, we'll put that in the bug description actually. So this just helps us to find where it actually was when it was seen. So in the description, we will add the URL um, version. That's good. So sir, for then severity, um, this helps us know what's going on with it. And there's minor, major, catastrophic, trivial, minor, major, catastrophic. So a catastrophic bug is like the entire app doesn't work and we need somebody to look at it immediately. And if you find a catastrophic bug, like don't just put a story in, tell somebody so that we're aware. Um, this one is probably major in that we need this. It's highly visible, highly functional. A minor bug or a trivial bug are like, well, maybe this, this field overlaps and doesn't look quite right. But this is a major bug because it's some important functionality that doesn't work. And that will just help us to, to triage it. Steps to reproduce. Just kind of give a step-by-step -step explanation. 
So over here in the attendance tool, we went in, we selected the next button, and, and nothing happened. So it's pretty straightforward like that. Open attendance tool. Uh, click next arrow to move one day forward. Nothing happens. And one day I will learn to spell. So the actual behavior is what should happen. Um, or what actually happens when this is that. So nothing happens, comma, there is a error in the console. And this is a good place to paste that error. Um, you can probably skip all that stuff. Just get the, the main kind of uncaught error. That first chunk right there should be sufficient. So we'll go ahead and paste that in there. Then the expected behavior, this is what should happen. And this is just to clarify, like, this, like, if the developer goes in and says, well, maybe that's what's supposed to happen, we'll say the next arrow should change the date to the following day. Um, and then in these two fields down here, you can say, like, if you took extra steps to try to, to track down where this bug was actually happening, if you went and looked at the code, or if, if you did some more research, put anything you did in here, and that'll just make it easier to, to solve. Um, and then the workaround, if there's a workaround, you can put it in if you've found a workaround. So for this one, maybe a workaround is you can click this and then move to the next day. So that's kind of a, here's a temporary fix just in case we're not able to fix this on time. So we'll go ahead and add that one. Uh, if you click the calendar, you can still move to any day. You can still move to any day. So there is a workaround for this, but we still want to get this fixed. Uh, labels, if there are any appropriate labels, uh, stick them on here. So if there's multiple apps, we'll say that this one is adhesion. Uh, we'll call this the attendance tool. Attendance tool. That way everybody will know, okay, that's uh, tagged for the that. If there's any tasks, you can generally leave that blank. And I think I noted that on here, um, unless told otherwise specifically. Now, activity, this is kind of a, a big spot. This is where there's going to be some correspondence on the bug. So keep track of this regularly. Um, if the developer has questions and can't talk to you or wants to, to add any notes in here, they'll put it in here. So if they have any questions, they'll stick them here. In addition to that, you'll want to put a screenshot in there. So if we command shift three, it should give us a screenshot of the entire screen. That way we have the URL, the console, and the error being shown. And try to make sure that it's, it's as descriptive as possible of the error. And then we can go ahead and slap that in here. And there you have it. That's all there is to making a bug. Uh, a couple notes. So if the bug had was something that was broke in this sprint, keep it in current. If it's something that, that maybe existed before or is unrelated to what we're working on, drag it over to the backlog. Um, that way we can, or, well, and there's some triage that needs to happen here. If it's really important, keep it in the sprint. Otherwise, or it's where we broke it this sprint, we need to fix it this sprint. If not, drag it to the backlog and we'll decide when it needs to go into the sprint in our next planning or iteration meeting. Cool. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and link that bug template in the description below.